like to talk about more like deep understanding of uh, technology. So at first, I would like to uh, agree with you on terminology uh, that computer, computer science or informatics, as we call mainly in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Europe, is uh, concerning with design and creating informatics products and tools such as algorithms, uh, programs, application software systems, methods, and so on. And technology, ICT or IT, is uh, application of uh, computer science or computing and concentrates how to use and uh, apply informatics in other and other information technology. Uh, both fields can be creative as well. So just when I will be talking about more informatics or computer science. So this is very short. Uh, a glance to our history that when informatics at school started in the uh, 70s or <coughs> a little before and uh, so we focus on uh, on computers and algorithms then uh, we went to creating programs then focus on applications and uh, uh, starting from uh, 2012 we uh, i mean this uh, research community uh, started to talk about the deepening understanding of informatics. So and in 2006, uh, Professor Janet N. Wing announced about computational thinking, uh, about uh, uh, that this uh, uh, to add to 3R computational thinking. And uh, this, uh, now it's more and more researchers focus on computational thinking, and especially in UK, in, they announced in 2012 computing, as, as you see, that computing should replace in all schools uh, teaching ICT by teaching uh, computing or computer science or informatics. Computational thinking, uh, I, to I told that uh, was established by uh, Jonathan Wing in 2006, but before was Seymour Papert already wrote in the uh, 1980s in, in uh, his book, Mindstorm, uh, that uh, uh, computational thinking is very, very uh, important to, to teach. Of course, in this, uh, at this time was more focused on algorithmical thinking, but computational thinking also was mentioned. What is computational thinking? There is quotation from a uh, very famous uh, article published in Communication of ICM by Jonathan Wing that it's universally applicable attitude and skill set. Everyone, not just computer scientists, would be eager, uh, eager to learn and use. So this is uh, like a definition, but what I should um, stress is that uh, uh, we are talking about thought process about our uh, uh, minds and it's about thinking, so it, it's not easy, Im, it, not easy to implement and uh, of course then to measure how we achieve. There, we, uh, there I will uh, provide several uh, operational definitions or more easy de definition about computational thinking. This is like we can identify the terms abstraction, automation, analysis. This is from also from the beginning from 2006 when uh, Wing de defined computational thinking. So as we see, automation is uh, this part that we are talking about programming and coding and uh, uh, that, that needs to some basics or fundamentals uh, everybody needs. Uh, another definition is uh, mm, uh, more, more maybe explicitly, uh, this is operational definition by uh, ISTA and uh, so this is uh, 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 six items uh, starting from formulating problems, then logical thinking, then representing data, as you see this is also automated. is most like with solutions and with problem solving and then very important in generalizing and transferring that it's from one task you should transfer some skills to another task and so on. This is also this concept from uh, other sources so that uh, uh, for computational thinking is very important data collection, data analysis, uh, data representation, problem composition, abstraction, algorithms, procedure, automation, uh, 
parallelization, simulation. So we can listen many this uh, fundamental concepts that we need to teach to our uh, young uh, students, uh, to kids, to secondary school. Uh, of course, this is a question of level, but we need to think about these uh, uh, concepts. This is one. Also, uh, this is one uh, quotation from paper that is from uh, ICM in routes. This very uh, concrete implementation, for example, like on modeling, simulation, robotics, and game design. So this is uh, how to work in the classroom. Uh, so there is a, a link, and uh, you can take slides. And you, if you are interested, you can read the paper that I really one of the paper who <coughs> uh, suggested some uh, very concrete implementation for teachers. Uh, so this is some also two-dimensional approach. One is concepts and another is approaches. As you see, that is uh, concepts, as I already mentioned, this is logic and the decomposition and so on. But this is approaches, approaches that can be also many of them. Mm, for example, like debugging or, uh, or collaborating or thinkering. So there's many of uh, works that working on this in this area, uh, how to connect concepts with approaches. I would like to mention or just to uh, present some research. Uh, this is recently done in European, uh, in European uh, countries. It, was, uh, it is uh, uh, all material available on, on internet. It's computing our future calls, the document, and this is a report from 21 European countries. Uh, research done in 2014, 2000, uh, then repeated in 2015, and now is uh, all, all, uh, collecting data for this year. So this is uh, also some uh, viewpoint on teaching informatics and uh, uh, also um, uh, computational thinking. So this is participating countries, as you see from Europe, that is uh, 21 countries uh, participated in survey. And uh, the many, they had many questions, they should fill reports, uh, uh, interviews, and one of the main issues was about coding, coding skills, why we need coding skills. And one of the reasons is that coding skills help to understand today's digital, digital world uh, and uh, digitalized society and force the 21st century skills like problem solving, creativity, and logical thinking. And it's very important, problem solving, creativity. So we are talking about generation who need to be creative. And uh, uh, coding is one of, uh, of uh, tools that we can. Of course, there are some others, uh, others that we, in, uh, in Europe by 2020, uh, we will need a lot of uh, uh, professional skilled in computing informatics uh, uh, people. Then. Uh, for coding in Europe, at least in Europe, we have also a variety of uh, terminology. We can call co programming and computing, and uh, some uh, it's, it's not equal. And we can uh, talk also about computing programming, also about, uh, for example, like debugging, algorithm design, and uh, uh, some also thinking that computational thinking is a, um, a big part for, uh, for programming as well. And uh, he is from a co collection from these 21 countries. Uh, of course, this is uh, more focus was uh, last decade on ICT and technology. So that's why it's like interrelation between uh, technology and computer science. From the study, what is main, very, very important, what was, uh, 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 what was uh, found in, in the study. So this is almost 19 countries uh, uh, told that digital competencies is priority in, almost in these countries. So 20, 19 countries uh, told. Also, ICT as a tool for learning is one of the main priorities in the majority of countries. Coding is uh, mentioned as main priority only by 10 countries. Uh, priority, uh, but data was from 2015, so now it's 
huge changes, as I know, uh, uh, European countries that say moving, for example, like uh, uh, Finland, they uh, uh, worked on uh, curricula and uh, for uh, next year, uh, coding will be in all uh, Finnish uh, schools. So this is, uh, but from this uh, report is quite interesting to see. Uh, integrating coding skills in the curricula, you see that this is integrating in the curricula is this uh, blue. Here is uh, this blue, big blue. So it's and here is some countries that uh, that's uh, not uh, not do not have plans. Is this yellow? So not 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 so many. Uh, uh, here is uh, concrete countries you can read much faster, but it's again I re re remind you that it's from last year data. Now, what about how we can, because we can talk about computational thinking, about deep understanding or learning, but always we need, uh, especially researchers and uh, educators, we need to provide some concrete ways, some concrete passes, how we can do this, how we can implement this. And, this, uh, and especially for our schools, for teachers, we should work together. There are many uh, events and activities, and uh, of course we can mention uh, in UK, uh, computing and schools, there are a lot of resources, and they put some uh, passes for teachers, how you can teach uh, uh, these concepts that I mentioned before. But there's also some activities uh, that I would like now to, uh, to focus, that is uh, activities uh, more like um, uh, uh, how to say this is more fun or more interest uh, to motivate students we can to motivate students and then can they can learn these uh, concepts uh, easier one of them is already mentioned this uh, uh, already mentioned it is a beaver or Lithuanian word babras that is a con a contest now we call challenge because there's some not only contests but many activities and resources and <clears throat> Before that, I wanted to say that uh, uh, contests can be uh, also inspiring, uh, inspiration for kids, and uh, just uh, we choose this, uh, some model like similar in uh, in mathematics, for example, in uh, <coughs> internationally, mathematicians have this kangaroo uh, uh, contest that uh, uh, this is similar for computer science. Uh, com informatics, uh, I established this um, BIVA to attract, to motivate students. I, in, in, uh, I, about, I talked about uh, uh, informatics education uh, via contests. Uh, this is paper published in lecture notes in a conference, ISEP is uh, uh, informatics and secondary school. That conference uh, uh, now each year. This year will be in Münster. It's, um, it's in Europe, always uh, still in Europe. Established by Austrian in 2000, um, 2005, and uh, this year will be in October in Münster. Next year, probably in, in Finland. So this is <coughs> now contest. As I wanted just to. Uh, mentions that what is our g uh, main aim is to motivate pu pupils. This is main goal. This is to motivate, engage them in informatics topics, and uh, also stimulate all school pupils. Uh, now we. Uh, uh, because um, uh, Babras was established in two, uh, 2004, now it's uh, uh, 12 years old, so now we changed, uh, last year we changed focus on uh, that it's international challenge on informatics and computational thinking. We have age groups at the moment five, but some countries already started to for smaller kids, and uh, so we have uh, tasks. I I've just present uh, uh, one course, which is doing in uh, November, the second week of November, but we have second round and we have some activities with teachers and uh, a lot of tasks and uh, this in, in, uh, on website, for example, each country, each country from, from the now 50 countries, we have each website, for example, here is uh, fin from Finland that uh, can go to these uh, uh, groups and to solve tasks. This is another from Netherlands, this is one 
one from Russia websites it also, and this is Lithuania, my country. It's, we have a, a big database. We have, uh, of course, we developed this e-learning platform that, uh, that teachers can go and. Uh, and uh, collect tasks that, uh, uh, for example, like in one topic or, or to stimulate uh, 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 students' learning. So now in uh, 2015, last year, uh, we had uh, 1.3 million of particip participants from, uh, uh, was from uh, last year was from 38 countries, but uh, from last year, uh, more 12 or, or more countries joined us. And what is very good and interesting is that uh, we have uh, we have a lot of girls. So uh, about 40 percentage that uh, we attract girl attention of girls. And what is also good is that uh, many countries uh, uh, doing research in this area, for example, like uh, in Germany, they also, because they have a lot of participants and many papers published in different conferences or different uh, journals. Uh, uh, all, uh, we have also primary age groups, so this is number of participants and Okay, so uh, the main, very important is, uh, or the main key, keystone is in, in this Bebra's challenge is tasks. So we are creating tasks uh, all community. It means that it's very good that we, uh, this all uh, representatives from, all representatives uh, uh, from uh, um, uh, country, uh, we uh, all together, we uh, talked and, uh, and uh, create ta and develop tasks. Uh, what type of tasks? So uh, we have multiply choice uh, tasks and also interactive tasks. So I still have a little time because I, we started a little later, yeah? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, because I, I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, uh, in, uh, attractive tasks. So uh, uh, I wanted to show some examples because it's not enough time to, but that you should catch, uh, catch ideas that tasks are very important. And this is in, we enjoy not only uh, students, but teachers and, uh, and the researchers, scientists, we are enjoying when we, uh, when we creating the small, small piece of uh, uh, tasks. And uh, one of them here is like B, you can read much faster than I talk. And uh, for example, this task also, and as you see, we put also why it is informatics and we uh, wrote a more bigger explanation because it's, uh, it seems that it's something like puzzle or some, but we, we thought always each task should ha have at least one co informatics concept behind. So it's not easy actually when we ask uh, some researchers uh, to create such tasks, it's usually uh, around 10 hours you need to create one task. This is uh, such to uh, take a look from some tasks, and as you see, this is we put usually main idea who came, but we worked all together. Uh, countries, uh, we have special workshop, and we work. There is also some nice tasks, but I do not have time. For example, like to what is graph? Graph and graph also you can with uh, this payments or some uh, patterns and. Uh, uh, this is some bookshelves that we can represent algorithms and, where, and not, not easy algorithms we can do with this, for example, like greedy algorithms or some uh, other algorithms we can show with very simple examples and very nice stories or tasks. Uh, here is uh, all, uh, all uh, information you can find in this uh, website. It's international website, bebras.org. And uh, here is also uh, uh, publications uh, from year by year that uh, who are interested in research papers so they can show. Also we are producing uh, brochures, not, uh, not each country, but many countries producing brochures and they are available also on website. So influence of Bebra's uh, uh, challenges on teaching informatics, on developing curricula and teacher training. So this is on research. So this is main four uh, areas. Say some references that I uh, use in my slides, if you will be available on internet, so this is uh, some quotations. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Valentina.